Well, hey everyone. Welcome back. As you can tell, we've been doing some trucking lately. We have been hauling some Cedar Rapids, cleaning up some May contracts. Today is June second. So we're back here at Lincoln Way. Also later today, after I leave here, I'm going up to Iowa Falls to get some bean meal. We haul bean meal for a hog farmer not too far away from us. Weather's beautiful, uh, sunny in like 75, 85. This morning here at Lincoln Way, got a pretty good line. Only one dump today, which is okay. The line moves pretty decent. We will get this load dumped, head up to Iowa Falls, show you what that's all about. Driveway here, it's a little awkward. But uh, yeah, anyways. Let's get it right here. <laughs> past two days there's been no line but this is good shows you how the line form so they come up right there first guy stops before the drive that goes that way because over there is where the bean dump is so usually this line will go back just a little ways kind of where we pulled in curls around depends on how long it is what happens so the guys stop right there so the trucks can drive through and then you can see the truck right there that's where you stage to pull up to in front of the door. That way you can see when they're moving. Once we get up there, we'll show you how it is. So there's the road. This is the first stopping point. Then you can see where that truck is. He's staged there. And the reason they stage there is so you can see the door to where you pull into the bean mail so you know when you need to move ahead. But once they're done loading that truck, he'll move in front of the door. I'll move where he is and repeat the process all the way through. Now is a good time to use the very exquisite, elegant bathrooms they provide for you here. All right, we're moving forward. Let me get you a little stop sign here. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Isn't that nice? Now you can see we go right to the left side of that building. So next guy in front of me stops right in front of the door. Doors open when the guy's loading is done. Pull in. Uh, it usually takes about 20 minutes to load. The lines can get pretty long here sometimes. I want to get past this, you see the guy pull forward, door shuts, pull right up to the door and wait your turn. Once the guy in front's done loading, doors will open up, let him pull out obviously. Once you get in there, pull in, stop where you need to stop. Usually I put my front grill guard, there's a yellow post in there, just pull right up in there. So there's a scale on there as well. Once you get in there, you actually have to turn the truck off because bean meal is pretty dusty. So they just don't want any, you know, it's a liability, you know, shut your truck off. They don't want anything to combust, whatever. So you shut your truck off, you get out, you walk out straight ahead through the big door and to your left, there's a stairway and it goes up to this little office. You just go in there, there is a computer. You go in there, you type in your load number the load number is entirely up to whoever you're hauling. They have load numbers. Type in the load number, then you gotta type in your tractor plate, your trailer plate, state, what you're hauling. So, soybean meal, there's a drop down menu. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Then you'll talk to the loader. You know, he'll ask you how much you want. He'll, he'll load as much as you want. If you want a certain amount of weight, he'll load you. You sit in there while you get loaded 
and uh, once you're done it gives you a couple pieces of paper with uh, the weight and the information then go back get in your truck turn it back on pull out and then usually with bean mail it piles up so depending on how full your trailer is you might have to rake down the bean mail from the center so you can roll your tarp so there is a nice catwalk on the outside that you can climb up and there's a rake up there so you pull up beside it rake off or rake down any bean mail so you can get your tarp rolled and then once you do that roll your tarp head out the road it's a pretty simple process in the trucking industry if you're new to it it can be kind of intimidating going to places that you've never been and you have no idea where to even start so hopefully I don't know how many people will see this that are new but hopefully this kind of gets you the right direction of where you need to go because to me the most intimidating factor is you know not the actual process it's just like where do I even start where is that at I don't want to look like a imbecile driving through asking people where to do where to go you know you just don't want to do that so hopefully this helps a little uh, same thing with the last video at ADM <laughs> into the bat cave there it is just take this rake rake down the top so you can roll the tarp that's all there is to it struggling I know we're all about manual tarps here at Man Farms, but this is our only trailer that has an automatic. Just waiting for the day we gotta replace the tarp and we'll put a manual back on it, but if it, I mean, it works, it just tarp's fine, so we just gotta run it. We made it back to Grand Central. Uh, I didn't film where I unloaded. It's just a private farmer, so I figured I don't need to film that. I'm gonna wash this truck and we gotta go get our landlord's round baler he's selling it we gotta clean that up so i gotta go grab that first i'm gonna go grab 4020 go get the baler and we'll be back all right there she is old good old john deere 567. huh that's our landlord's baler uh, he doesn't bail anymore high roller does all of it so, maybe we should buy it as a backup. We'll clean her up, see what she looks like. Belts are pretty nice. TNT foam cleaner. Wow. Look at that. Looking pretty good. For uh, at least 15 year old Baylor, I would say. Hey. Here we go mow at a bin site. The one we have, so. Fueling up the 744. Head over there. Ah, dookie boy. What do you think, buddy? Oh, he's so cute. can tell got a little out of hand mowed it once so far this year and it doesn't take much with all the rain we've had for grass to just we usually come over here about once a week oh this is interesting let's check on some beans wow well I will say they are looking good we've been told that army worms are back in the region Army worms are little bugs that like to eat grass. And our pioneer uh, agronomist seed guy said they might still be in some rye areas where it's green. So this is a rye area where it's a little green. I'm not seeing any. 
uh, here, which is good. They told us they don't really eat beans, but they would go after corn. I'm on the end. I did 24 rows on this north end of the farm where it started and I said, hey, this isn't gonna work out. So I moved to another field. You remember that, right? Let's see how the beans are coming up in this spot. I would say pretty darn good. <laughs> Maybe even a little better than the normal. Wow. So yeah, these 24 rows in through here, uh, the trench was it, was, it wasn't quite closed all the way, but wow, they, they're coming up really good. This over here, I wasn't too worried about because it was pretty fresh dirt. But man, do these beans actually look really good. It was more into these thicker rye areas that I was more concerned. So right in through here would be a great example. I mean, that is looking phenomenal. Wow. Looks like we got one row here that struggles a little bit for a little stretch here. Could also be some sprayer track rows, so they might just be a little bit behind. Well, there's an experiment for you. Question, does the seed trench need to be fully closed for beans to grow? Gee, Decker, that's a great question. Let me answer that for you. No, it doesn't, obviously. So what did we learn from this? We learned that you could probably plant beans in, in really wet ground and they'll still grow. Pretty interesting. Little snippet there. When did you get up there? You little weasel. If you're gonna sit up here, I guess I gotta put these ones. Huh. Are you kidding me, Luke? You just, you really jumped out. He jumped out. Oh my goodness. I gotta trap him in. Luke was looking a little bored, so we're gonna go run and get another mower for him to run. Right, Luke? Hey, hey, everybody. That's pretty thick. We're gonna have to go over it twice to make it look halfway decent. So I'll just go get the grasshopper, speed the process up a little bit. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Oh, we can bail it, get some windrows. Luke is eager to mow. Hey, yeah, mailing. We got her knocked out. It looks really good. Went over everything twice. It's only nine o'clock. What a beautiful sunset. Got it. We needed everything around the bins, around the building, the ditches. <sighs> Load it up, let's hit the road. I suppose I gotta buy you dinner now. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows the farmer mentality. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the job is done. Words to live by. Well guys, when I left the place, put the weed eater in the back of the truck, and I didn't realize I had the spare battery sitting on the rail, and it rode all the way back home, about three miles, so. <laughs> uh, I was pretty lucky. 